Hi, welcome to my channel. Today, let's talk about how we properly destroy an object and remove it from the list. For our demonstration purpose, I have an amazing package for RPG character controller. And if you guys want to use CDSS for your D project, I will put the links down in the description below and you can find it on the asset store. And in here, I have a basic character movement with support, jumping, and attacking something. Just like that. I have a fine NPC characters here, and I can just attack to destroy one of them. Right there. So, let's take a look at the course first. In here, at the ends of the attacks movement, I will look to the enemy RPC list, which I will assign from the inspector. And if the distance between those elements in the list and the positions of the character is less than two, I will destroy that's NPC and also I will remove it from the list and if it does I will lock our meshes which call enemy and the enemy names is not near so at the first look nothing strange with that code is below all the logic that we have in our mind we look to the NPC list and if the distance of one of the character is less than two we will destroy it because destroy and game objects doesn't guarantee that our list doesn't reference it we will also remove it from the list to avoid any missing reference exception now let's see at the editor and i will show you something definitely wrong with this code in here at the rpg character I will ask the enemy NPC list with five NPC character over there. Okay, let's just run. So we come to the character. And just punch it. Now you will see that one of the NPC characters has now been gone and we have four left however only three meshes has been free now not only that in our NPC list we still have four elements and something strange is that there is no error there is no running everything seems fine but somehow, we have only three messages free now. It should be in four. I will try to destroy another NPC. Now, only two of the messages is free now. Although we have three NPC here. So, what happened? If we take a look back in the code, the reason for this phenomenon to happen is we actually modify our list when we incrementally look through it. Because we remove the elements, all the NBC character that come after us, the one being destroyed, the index of those had been shipped to the left. One index. That is why one of the log has not been printed. I will add some debug for you to see which of the index have been logged. Debug that log. I will say the NBC in index. I has been destroyed 
sim has not been destroyed okay now let's see in the editor you will see that the mbc index 0 1 and 3 has not been destroyed and the index number 2 is being destroyed but we haven't seen anything about index number 4 although we have 5 elements in our list the reason for that is because we have removed the elements at index number 2 so all the index come after this has been shipped to one index so index number 3 has now been number 2 number 4 is now number 3 and number 5 is number 4 sorry let me say that again in this time because the index 2 have been destroyed the index number 3 now move to the index number 2 and the index number 4 now move to index number 3 to fix this issue we will create a reverse for loop for and another r copy the list actually i will Set the code here for copying. Reverse for loop. All the logics remain the same, but this time we corner loop from the last of the list to the begin. And because we looping in that order, if an elements have been removed. Nothing gonna change from the rest of the elements. Now, let's remove some of the log. And see in the editor. As you can see, now, after we destroy an object, we will have four meshes so the reasons i want to show you this technique is because it is very easy to miss error you will see that there's no error there's no warning everything seems fine and this is the kind of box that is hard to debug and when we try the reverse follow everything's now come back to normal the logics that we implemented has been correct. That is the end of my video. Please like, surprise, and thank you for watching.